Annie Stevens. Thank you. long years of Greater Minnesota being overlooked, overtaxed, and overregulated by the Democrats, who thinks it's time to strap Mark Dayton, Tim Waltz, and Aaron Murphy, and Rebecca Otto on the honey wagon and send them out to the pastor? Good afternoon, fellow Republicans. I am State Representative Jeff Backer, a lifelong resident of Browns Valley, and I am honored to be on Mary's team as Lieutenant Governor. I join with Mary because she gets the importance of Greater Minnesota and that the key for Minnesota prosperity is economic growth in all regions of Minnesota. I want to make it loud and clear, the Stevens administration will open up mines, will open up pipelines, and strip away regulations that make every puddle a wetland. Those of us with deep roots in greater Minnesota know that in our neck of the woods, neighbors look out for neighbors. Faith and family is strong. And we proudly display the Trump and NRA bumper stickers behind our gun racks in our pickups. <laughs> Take that, DFL urban elites. <laughs> My message this afternoon is simple. In order for us Republicans to win the statewide race, we must do well in Greater Minnesota and take a higher percentage of the suburban votes to overcome the deficits we face in Minneapolis, St. Paul, and here in Duluth. And this team will do that. You can count on the Stevens Backer ticket to fight for families, farmers, loggers, miners, and the Main Street small businesses that have made the backbone of this state great. I respectfully ask for your vote. Vote Stevens Backer and let's turn Minnesota red! Well good morning fellow Republicans. I'm Randy Gilbert, a delegate from Senate District 33. Well folks, it's decision time. Have you made your decision yet? Because I've made mine. I believe it's the time we endorse a different candidate with different experience and a different approach to politics. Mary Giuliani Stevens is different and she can win. So why Mary? Why Mary instead of her top two competitors? Let me begin with an analogy. How many of us here remember the summer Jaws came out? I remember that summer being so petrified I could not go swimming in the lake. I was afraid to go swimming in a pool that summer. A couple years later, Jaws 2 came out. What was the point? We all knew what was gonna happen at every scene and the movie bombed in the box office. My friends, I would suggest to you that in political campaigns, as in the movies, the sequel is never as good as the original. I know Tim Pawlenty, and it was great to have him as a two-term governor during some very tough economic times. But despite how well the governor will say it, it's an inescapable fact that he was the chief Washington lobbyist for Wall Street brokers, big banks, and credit card companies. And his record will be an endless target for the Democrats and the wealthy outside attack groups. 
<clears throat> also remember that we Minnesotans have punished politicians who finish their terms, leave to become DC lobbyists, and then return home to run again. Consider Governor Tommy Thompson, Senator Russ Feigold, and Governor Evan Bayh. All finished their terms, all went to DC to become lobbyists, all came home again to run, all three lost. Do we really want to take a chance that Minnesota is going to be any different? We all know Jeff Johnson. Jeff is a friend of mine. Jeff's a good man, and he's been a good county commissioner. But in 2014, a great year for Republicans, Jeff fell far short of victory against Mark Dayton, a weak candidate and certainly the most left-wing governor this state has ever seen. What has changed with Jeff's campaign? And will the results be any better against much tougher DFL opponents like Tim Walls, Aaron Murphy, or Rebecca Otto? We have to look beyond today's endorsement. <clears throat> we have to pick a candidate who provides the clearest, sharpest, and most effective contrast to win both the primary and the general election. I don't know about you. I don't know about you, but I want to do something different this election cycle. I want to win. Mary Giuliani Stevens is different, and she can win. And that is why I enthusiastically nominate Mary to be the next governor of Minnesota. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. My name is Duke Giuliani, and I think I know Mary better than anyone. You guessed it, I'm her dad. And Thank you. As a dad, what I want to do is just share with you a few things why Mary will be one of the best, and in my humble opinion, the very best governor that Minnesota has ever had. First and foremost, Mary is honest to the core. Second, I guarantee, guarantee, that as governor, Mary will give you 100% effort 100% of the time. Three, she's bright, educated, has all the experience to govern, but most importantly, what she will bring to the table is a bushel of good old common sense. Mary was raised, and Mary has lived a life with the knowledge which she warmly embraces that all men are created equal. So it doesn't matter whether you're rich or whether you're poor, whether you're educated or not educated, whether you're religious or not religious, whether you're political or apolitical, just doesn't matter. What does matter is that Mary will give each and every citizen the same dedication, the same clarity, the same honesty, and treat everyone equally. So now, it gives me profound pleasure and deep satisfaction to second the nomination for governor, our daughter, Mary, Giuliani Stevens. Thank you. At just 22 years old, the grandfather landed on Ellis Island, an immigrant from Italy. Hard work was the only work the family knew. As a toddler, Mary Giuliani Stevens moved to Minnesota with her family. My grandparents and my parents worked hard, and they sacrificed for their children, so I've learned that it's not about me. A young woman raised with common sense Minnesota values, Mary worked summer jobs in high school and graduated college and law school. I work hard because I want my children and my grandchildren to have a better life. And I give back to the community because I want other people to experience that and have the opportunity for that. Today, as 
wife and mother, Mary Giuliani Stevens imparts those values taught to her by her grandfather to her children and grandchildren. Faith is of utmost importance to me because my faith, my belief in God and as Jesus is my savior, I have a saving faith. And so how I live my life, how I love people, how I serve people, my goal is to live that every day of my life. As mayor, Mary brought over 270 new businesses to Woodbury, a 17% increase in jobs and over 3,000 new homes. Her leadership has resulted in Woodbury being named one of the best places to live, not only in Minnesota, but the United States. I have the experience. As mayor, we've had to set budgets, and we have had to be fiscally responsible within those budgets. We've had to manage our dollars and resources to best serve the community of Woodbury. We have stimulated economic growth here, brought new business, almost 270 new businesses to the city of Woodbury. We brought jobs. We worked hard to make sure those businesses that are here stay here and grow here and reinvest in the community. We've tackled transportation issues. We've tackled issues that are important to the community of Woodbury. I will do the same because those are the same issues we have at the state of Minnesota. I think there are opportunities that we can come up and provide new solutions to make sure that our farmers and their families can thrive in Minnesota. I think mining has provided jobs for Minnesota families for many years and I think it can continue to provide jobs for Minnesota. There's no reason we can't continue to allow my responsible mining and provide for those jobs. I love being mayor of Woodbury. I have had the opportunity to meet so many great and smart people, whether they're residents and volunteer work that people are doing through community organizations, and I've just had a great opportunity to get out there and meet and know our businesses. It's been 12 years since a Republican last won a statewide election. In that time, our state has changed, our politics have changed, but our candidates haven't. It's time to forge a bold new path and endorse a newcomer, a candidate who will make a difference and win. I'm running for governor because we need bold leadership and new solutions. People are sick of politicians playing games. They're looking for leaders that'll come in and find solutions to the problems that we face today in Minnesota. I have the grit and I have the determination and perseverance to see it through. New solutions, bold leadership. Mary Giuliani Stevens. Republicans, we are here today, all of us, from all four corners of Minnesota, because we know that our state has come to a fork in the road. One road leads to dependency on the far left, the other to freedom. Individual rights, limited government, and free enterprise. And while all elections determine which direction our state goes, whether to the left or the right, this year, the contrast is much clearer. The stakes are much higher. We simply cannot afford another four years of DFL dysfunction in the governor's office. And now we face the most important question our party must answer. Who is the best candidate to be endorsed as a Republican candidate to win the primary in August and defeat the Democrats in November. Mary, Mary, I, res Mary. I respectfully submit I am that candidate. <laughs> and even, even, the de even the Democrats seem to agree. One DFL source told the Star and Tribune that their side should be, and I quote, terrified of me because I am a smart suburban woman who can break, crack the Republican statewide losing streak. The Democrats understand that even with the overwhelming support Republicans have in greater Minnesota, that there are enough, not enough Republican voters to win unless Republicans endorse a new smart candidate that can persuade independent voters and win the suburbs. History, history teaches us that when we courageously forge a brand new path, when we have the foresight to break tra from tradition, 
To elect and endorse a, a new candidate, we elect bold, strong leaders who have served our party with distinction. Just one year ago, you did that when you elected Jennifer Carnahan as our state party chair. In 2016, millions of Republicans from across the country boldly broke from tradition when they voted for newcomer Donald J. Trump to make America great again. And he came within 1.5 points of winning in Minnesota. I too am a newcomer as a statewide Republican candidate. But I'm not new to our shared Republican principles. Under a Stevens-Backer administration, we will partner with the Republican leadership in the House and in the Senate. And we will enact major conservative reforms. We will put an end to the anti-mining attitude that has dominated our state government for the last eight years. We will instill a culture of responsible use of our natural resources because we know our farmers are the best stewards of the land that supplies our way of life. And it's long past time we tell the federal government no more refugee resettlement in Minnesota until until we get a serious screening program that accepts refugees who want to come here for the right reason. And that reason is to work hard and obey our laws. And we will impose financial penalties on sanctuary cities that choose to defy our state and federal laws. We will proudly speak for life from conception to natural death. And we will boldly protect our Second Amendment rights. As governor, I will stand firmly in my unyielding belief that no government program can replace faith and strong families as the center of American life. We Republicans, we are caring and compassionate and kind. And we take care of those who are in need. But we don't want our government wasting taxpayer dollars to give it to those who don't need it, or worse yet, send it overseas to fund terrorism. We measure success not by how many people we can get to join government programs, but by how many people we can free from government programs. We know the need of a strong business economy where individuals invest their time and resources and passion to create jobs and grow our economy. The role of the government should be to reduce taxes, reduce regulations, and provide for a well-educated workforce. We will have tax reform and simplify and lower taxes. We will get Minnesota out of the top 10 in every major tax category so that middle class Minnesotans can keep more of what they earn. And, and, and we will end the horrible practice of taxing Social Security on our seniors. We will abolish the Met Council. And we will replace it, and we will replace it with elected officials and a limited scope. We will champion school choice, and we will bring back economically relevant programming into our classrooms so that our students are being educated, not indoctrinated. In healthcare, we must put the needs of the patients first. Patients working with their medical providers to come up with the care that best meets the needs of the patients, not the whims of bureaucrats or indifferent corporations. Make no mistake, this Italian grandma has the grit and the determination to take on the wasteful spenders and insiders at the Capitol. I I will not compromise on our principles. I will not compromise on our beliefs, and I will not compromise on our values. As conservatives, we are committed 
to a society that honors human dignity, that promotes responsibility, and that rewards those who plan and sacrifice for the future. The people of Minnesota are ready to elect a new leader that attracts voters by connecting our conservative values to their hopes and aspirations. My friends, I am that leader. Therefore, we will work hard every day. We will know where we came from. We will not forget you. We will not forget who brought us here. Therefore, we respectfully ask for your vote to endorse us as Republican Governor and Lieutenant Governor because the Stevens backer ticket can and will win in August and again in November. <laughs> working, to, working together with God and the Constitution as our guide, we will restore our state to one that protects life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. God bless you. May God bless Minnesota and the United States of America. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.